Well, hey there, it's Brooke. And today, we're gonna do some everyday Pinterest-inspired tiered trays. So of course, I have my Amazon tray, my brown one, and I picked out three pictures from Pinterest that I feel are a good everyday tray. And then I go through my stash of stuff and try to find things similar that will work for the tray to get inspired by. Some things I actually had the exact same thing this time, so that's always fun. And some things I did not have anything. I tried to pick the most neutral, kind of everyday ones that I could find. This video is always a little brain taxing for me because yeah. <laughs> so, but they are so fun to do and it's so fun when they come out and they look so cute and you've used what you have on hand and haven't had to like purchase things or feel like you need to purchase things. Although I have when I've been shopping lately, I'm like, ooh, I always see things like that in my Pinterest inspired tray or ooh, I always, you know, and I'm like, no broke. The whole point of the Pinterest inspired is to use what you have. So if you see something, you know, you like, obviously, buy it and you really want to use it but i was just thinking like for the video and that's not what this is about this is about being inspired and using what you have so i hope you are inspired and i hope you enjoy and let's get to it So for the first picture, I have picked this basically all white tray besides the like black sign and the terracotta pot. So I do have the hubby and wifey mugs. I have the sugar canister. I have the little jar that that big spoon is, but I don't have a big spoon. And I have similar flowers and the cotton. Let's start by placing the hubby and wifey and sugar and then we'll work from there. So here is the wifey mug and I would say that's probably kind of over here like that and then the hubby mug is kind of behind it yeah and then the little sugar jar probably about right there and then instead of that white sign I think it says home is my favorite feeling I'm just gonna use this little this is us book stack I have I thought that would go well with the hubby and the wifey mug and then for up top instead of the cream I don't know if it's a pitcher or a jar or what it is it must have a hole in it because there's flowers and stuff in it but I have this little milk kind of pitcher thing so I thought that would work up there well I do have that little like handled mason jar and then instead of the big long spoon which I'm thinking is like an anniversary spoon or something there's name on it. I have just these little silver measuring spoons I thought would look cute. Instead of the let's get cozy sign, I just have the let's stay home sign. So I'm just going to kind of put that over there. I think that sign's a little bigger than mine too. The other thing I have is a terracotta pot like that and I'm assuming theirs is on a stand. Otherwise, I don't know how it would get that high and that's probably too high with my sign being short. So I grabbed a little shorter stand. Is that Yeah, that one goes below the sign so I think that's what we'll want. I am feeling pretty good about everything that we have for like the main pieces. Also I think they do have a little bit of a bud vase or something kind of behind the white sign on the bottom. So I did grab this little bud vase and I'm going to use these flowers that I have to kind of stick in there. They have another one of these kind of white flowers just kind of laying up on the top here. Maybe this little cotton stem would look good there. I do believe they have, yeah, another one like this tucked in over here. Maybe in with the spoons they have another cotton stem. If you look real close in between the pitcher and the little mug thing here. They have another flower that was down here in the bud vase. I'm going to stick kind of these boxwood eucalyptus ones up here. I do not have any more white. Well, I do have more white flowers. I'm going to stick another one of these bunches. I'm just going to lay it back here because I swear that's kind of how they have it is just kind of sitting back there. I don't think we need any sort of vase or anything. I think I'm just gonna prop it up back there. And I feel like we could maybe use a little something, something over, huh? Since, cause my sign isn't the same size. Okay, I grab a container that is a little shorter. So we got the picture up in the corner. The only thing that's a little different is that's 
vase is taller. I did add that and then there's no white flowers. I don't think I want any white flowers in there. And I think it'll look good, but let's just leave it as is. I think this was probably about the easiest one I picked out because I knew I had a lot of these things, but I really like that. Could go winter, could go spring. Super everyday one. I mean, this would be good year round and just all the whites and then the little pop of black I think looks really cute and all the words are kind of fun together. So here's our first one. So for the second photo, I do have that exact home sign. I have a blessed candle. I have cotton rounds. I don't have a big initial like that, but I do have the smaller one that Hobby Lobby sells. I did pick out one extra like filler for the bottom just because I felt it was a little empty. Let's place that home sign and kind of my signs and my blessed candle and then go from there. So the home sign is kind of over here, I would say. And then here's my blessed candle. It's just a bigger Ray Dunn. I'm thinking that's Ray Dunn. It's just the like clear jar that they have. Instead of that blessed sign or it says our family is blessed on the top, I just grabbed this little family sign because I thought it was similar in shape. I grabbed that stand and then here's my M. I think I will put mine in front of the handle instead of behind. This is the bucket I grabbed for the bottom and it looks like they have some lamb's ear in there and then what four maybe I need two. Two things of lambs here. That looks a little better. It's not perfect, but it looks a little better. And I don't have an antler of any sort, so I just grabbed some beaded garland here that I thought would look nice, you know, to add that extra texture and that wood color, I guess you could say. And then the filler I grabbed for the back was just this little white lantern I have. So I don't even know. I don't think I want that. I think I'm just gonna leave it how they have it and move on with my life. And so they have a little plant up top with the gray base. So this is what I have. So that's what I grabbed. And then we have a few more cotton rounds over there. I think this could go on just a smaller stain. I like that just a little better because it doesn't seem so high and out of place from the smaller plant that I have. Let's step back and give it a look. Yeah, I think, I mean, covering that stem back there kind of irritating me. Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. So I think we did good. I think it looks very similar to the tray we were inspired by. We used what we had and I brought in just like the more of a wood color instead of that blue that they had. But I like how this one turned out. And then I'm even okay with like this not being completely full back there, which is quite surprising. So I give our little family home tray a Thumbs up. You have to let me know what you think about the back not being full or what little changes we made. The third picture, I have the little watering can with the measuring spoons, and that's about it. Oh, and the white initial. I did have to do some improvising. I do have a bird's nest, and then I just picked out a few other kind of Ray Dunn pieces to use. I know this picture is very dark, and I apologize for that, but I just really like this tray. I thought it was super cute for every day, so I wanted to recreate it. So let's start with the kind of the watering can and my initial and then like the sign I picked out and work from there. So here is my white initial. And then instead of that homegrown, I thought a garden sign would be kind of fun. I think this is maybe a little farther forward. And then there's my garden sign. And now they have the little can. 
and the measuring spoons back here. I assumed my sign was way too big and you wouldn't be able to see that. Okay, so let me think here for a second. I'm pretty sure I've seen that homegrown sign at Hobby Lobby before, but that would be a nice easy one to make if you had like a cricket joint. Let's try this welcome sign here instead maybe and then put a little watering can behind that. So that works and so now we can see the can a little better and then they have like a bless bowl back there if you zoom in and of course i always have the pictures linked below so you can zoom in i just have these little pinch and dash bowls so i'm just gonna put that back there and then i have these kind of mossy balls i thought would look kind of cute in there it does look like they have a little just simple mason jar in the back and i think i'm going to fill in with some more of my moss balls just kind of back here a little bit so instead of that darling mug i thought since we kind of had the moss balls and the watering can well and the garden Sign, but now the welcome sign it still works i would just use my nourish little spritzer here and then my little nest i don't have white eggs i have i just grabbed some green eggs i thought those would be the most neutral for right now and i don't have that white bird but i believe it's from hobby lobby but i do have this brown one mine's not gonna fit the way they have theirs so i think i'm gonna put mine well let's see yeah they have theirs kind of like this there we go I don't like that though. I think I'm going to put mine like this. You can kind of see more of her like detail and stuff. And then they do have a little plant back there. It's more here by the bird. Um, you can easily put some double sided like tape on the eggs and they kind of stay where they're supposed to be better. So if I put two wood slices I can put it by the bird kind of where they have it. Then I still feel like I'm missing something there, aren't we? Let's try this bowl instead of these pinch and dash because I just feel like this is going to fill it up a little better. You know I want to put something here. I'm trying to resist because I don't know what to put there. Some beads. So what I'd like to put there. So I just grabbed those same beads we used in the first, no, this, the second tray that kind of went instead of that antler and then that just adds a little bit more of like the brown texture and the brown color so i think we did pretty good i do have some bigger like greenery balls but i just grabbed these instead and then adding that one up to the top since this isn't like as full as that mug that welcome sign really worked i think it's pretty cute you know just kind of simple and very everyday leading into spring here definitely so i like how this one turned out i'm good with my little adjustments and i feel very inspired tiered trays went so well. I've never been so happy with how they've come out and being inspired. I figured like from going from the pictures I should have known because I just found the stuff so easily. Sometimes we just can't get it right and this time I just thought they just flowed right out of us. So I'm very happy about that. I love how all of them turned out with the little adjustments we made and how we were inspired and I just want to say thanks for coming along and I hope you enjoyed, got some motivation. Let me know which one was your favorite down in the comments. I've already picked out pictures for Easter Pinterest inspired ones so that'll be the next step to gather some stuff for those. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.